Hi everyone, it is April 18, 2019. I can't let this stand. I just posted this video, CBS, Stopping the Spread of Measles. This is about Rockland County, New York, fining people $2,000 per day until they get the MMR vaccine and this psychopathic narcissist on CBS actually said this. Report by Mola, and I'm fascinated how in the face is what is unequivocal science. Yes. Absolutely clear mm -hmm. that vaccines are safe. Did you hear that? Was the volume too low? Okay. Unequivocal. It's clear. Vaccines are safe. The science tells you that. Vaccines are safe. This is a despicable human being, disgusting, repulsive, lying outright. And those lies have destroyed people's lives. Those lives have destroyed children. Those lies have actually killed children. How do you... I can't not have a visceral response to liars at this point. Lies are really dangerous. They cause destruction. There ain't nothing good about them. Even those lies that are the white lies or those lies that have all the good intention behind them. Bad, not good, wrong speech. Because they are, that is the kind of action. Anybody who lies, I'm sorry. Anybody who lies, you cause destruction with those lies. You destroy relationships when you lie because those in your life can't trust you. But these kinds of lies coming from these mainstream media reporters, these corporate reporters, these sick, narcissistic people who are all about themselves because you cannot do what this woman just did unless you are about yourself and you don't give a shit about the children that you harm by that lie. All right, I, I've been doing this for years. The lies are becoming more outrageous, more bold. And yeah, when we now see government officials who are mandating vaccination, just like what we are seeing in New York City. When we see officials going door to door, inspecting who has been vaccinated and who has not. And now we see Rockland County coming out, fining people $2,000 per day. Well, that's the kind of pressure that mandates vaccine and this is over measles over measles when we know the measles it's not smallpox it's not a big deal children get measles children well baby boomers remember all of their shows Brady Bunch Jan saying or the the oldest son saying, well, if you have to get sick, the measles is what you want to get. And they sitting around playing Monopoly and they don't have to go to school and they're all happy about it and there no one is dying. Deaths in the U.S. during the past 10 years. From 2004 to 2015, due to measles, zero. Due to measles vaccines, 108. I don't, I don't 
I don't know. I honestly don't know how to live in this world anymore. Um, but I, I can't just not do this again because children are dying. They're dying. And people's lives are being destroyed. <laughs> How do you just sit back and just not take action when you know that that is the truth? Um, physicians all over the country are waking up. Why are they just now waking up? Because medical school, they spend about three hours on vaccines and they don't ever mention vaccine adverse effects. So here, physicians for informed consent find MMR vaccine causes seizures, causes seizures in 5,700 children annually. But yeah, listen to this sick creature who claims vaccines. It's unequivocal. The science is in just like this climate change, global warming bullshit. Yeah. The science, it's clear. Vaccines are safe. You've got to listen to this CNN piece. Well, now a set of parents in New York have filed a lawsuit against the city for ordering mandatory vaccinations, saying there isn't enough evidence to claim there's a measles outbreak, despite there being 329 cases in New York alone. Joining me now, the attorney representing those parents who are suing Robert Krakow. Robert, thank you for taking the time to talk to me about this very you, important Lord. issue. I know the parents here are citing religious reasons. What is their argument against the city? Well, first of all, we're not saying there's no outbreak. We're saying the outbreak is not severe enough to warrant the extreme measures taken by the city of New York mandating vaccines. I just want to point out they're not hiding behind religious beliefs. They've been recognized under New York law as having valid religious beliefs that exempt them and their children, or the children especially, from vaccine, vaccination. I also want to add that vaccinations are not without risk. Um, measles vaccination, MMR vaccination, has caused deaths and encephalitis. Uh, there is a child who lives in one of the affected areas who was injured last October by an MMR vaccine and was hospitalized. So it's not, MMR is not without risk, but that's not the main point of our lawsuit. The main point is that the, the city could take less restrictive means to serve the public and safeguard the public, such as quarantine. They don't have to mandate vaccines. Mandating vaccines and the order commands you shall be vaccinated goes against basic principles of informed consent and uh, in, an individual's autonomy over his bodily integrity. So there are many principles at stake here. There's a way to safeguard the public. We believe the public should be safeguarded. We're not saying the public health authorities are wrong to be concerned about that, but we think that they can take other measures rather than commanding people to be vaccinated who choose not to be. I'm not going to sit here as a medical expert. I can say that I have had Dr. Sanjay Gupta and countless medical experts dispel what you just put out there about the MMR vaccine. And I find it extremely important to talk about. People can go do their own research, talk to your doctors about it. I can't sit here and spend 50 minutes on, on what the facts are other than medical experts have said the MMR vaccine is perfectly safe. The risk of not taking it okay. is killing uh. <laughs> other people's children possibly. When oh. you have, for example, I have a five-month-old oh baby. God. He can't be vaccinated in 12 months. If your client's six-year-old gets measles and infects my child, he could die. What do you say to that? My client's uh, children are not contagious. They don't have measles. They're healthy. If they got it. Me They're not measles vaccinated. is not smallpox. Measles is not Ebola. Uh, and the MMR vaccine may be generally safe. It's not perfectly safe. I'm a vaccine injury lawyer. I represent hundreds of people over the years who've been injured by vaccines. There are thousands of cases, some of MMR, some have had devastating injuries to children lifelong. I'm not saying that's a common occurrence, but at least 40 to 50,000 children every year are injured by vaccines. So 40 to 50,000 children every year are injured by 
vaccines. You hear the his, this friggin' hysteria coming out of this woman over measles? Okay. We have something very dark happening here in our country. And yes, that darkness springs from lying. Lies. Lies. If people would stop lying for a friggin' paycheck, if people would really stand up to people who lie, and those lies are so dangerous, this woman should be publicly shamed every single time she walks out her front door. You think about all of the children who have died from vaccines. You think about all of the children who have been injured by vaccines. And this woman has the friggin' audacity to say they are safe. It's unequivocal. Wow. Now that takes an extraordinarily sick, twisted human being. They're not safe. And this idea that the unvaccinated are spreading measles, do people not know at this point that they are being lied to incessantly by mainstream media, these corporate, these corporate sick, twisted reporters? Do you not know that now I think it's down to, I last heard, four corporations own all media, mainstream media. If it's not four, then it's five or six. That's it. Don't you think those corporations have an agenda? And considering that the CDC is a for-profit for-profit agency and that it is already known that the CDC is making money off of these vaccines. Is that not a conflict of interest? My God. Okay. Dr. Sherry Tenpenny. Well, vaccines. Hello oh, there. God. <laughs> Good how, topic, long we, huh? how many hours do we have to cover this one? <laughs> I, I know for a fact that my kids right now got a lot more than I did when when I was their age. Are these safe? No. <laughs> no. No, they're not safe. They're not safe. Well, well, one thing that she didn't mention is that I'm a new mom. I have a three-month-old waiting for me back in Chicago. And one thing I know for sure is that that's my child, and that's my choice. So for all the moms out here who have to look at, in the newspaper, look at the television, look on Facebook, and to understand that in the state of California, they have stripped our ability to make decisions about our child's life, about our child's safety, I want you all to say it with me. My child, my choice. My child, my choice. And that's the real reason why I flew down here. Nobody's paying me to be here. This isn't a media stunt. This is from the heart. When I, when Dell first gave me the information about Dr. Thompson, you know, it was a blip. I, I was like every other physician in America. I was kind of in the dark about this. You know, vaccine injuries, oh no, you know, the moms, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know what they're, what they're saying about it, but I really kind of suppressed it. Dale presented me with this information and said, Dr. Rachel, I really want you to look at this. Uh, he didn't say anything. He didn't tell me his stance on it. He sent me the documents, and I almost fell out of the chair, okay? So taking it one step further, I get on YouTube. I start watching videos of moms and their babies seething. And the mom is saying, I just vaccinated my child yesterday. So between the videos, between the data that Dale sent to me, I said, oh, my gosh. As a family medicine physician, I order vaccinations every day. As a family medicine physician, board certified, I've been doing this for over 10 years. I have trusted everything that the CDC and my American Academy has taught me. 
And then to sit there and realize that maybe a, a bunch of what I've just digested, I didn't do any research on it, I just it took it to be the gospel and the truth, could in fact be harming children, almost made me have a heart attack. And, I, and I'm fairly young, barely, right? So I stand here with moms today. I have heard, I have met so many of you who are the true heroes, who wake up every day to have to tend to, to a, a, a being that you took so much care to bring into the world. I, I know. I was trying to eat the right things, not do anything. I was barely trying to move to make sure that the baby got here in a, in a safe way. And the idea that she could get here and that someone would tell me that I had to vaccinate her, even though I had doubts or fears about it, is way too much to digest. So I'm here from Chicago, Illinois. I stand with you. I support you. I understand. I feel you. Thank you for sharing your stories for, with me. And thank you for allowing me to be part of this journey because we need medical professionals to wake up and stop being afraid to say. Because I guarantee you, I have colleagues all over the country who are delaying their own children's vaccinations. And they're just not brave enough to come forward to say it. Well, I, I have a family. My family supports me. They love me. They care about me. My friends do. And I'm not afraid to say that I am scared of the vaccines at this point. I need more answers. I need Dr. Thompson to be subpoenaed. And I need him to answer my questions before I take a leap and inject my, my, my little one that I've tried so hard to protect with anything. So I stand here with you all. I support you. Thank you for having me. And uh, God bless. All right? Yeah. Okay. She's a media doctor. She's got a show, Dr. Rachel Ross. She learned the truth. And here's her, her letter, more information, an apology, an apology letter. Every doctor needs to apologize for their ignorance. When they finally learn then they need to do exactly what Dr. Rachel Ross is doing right here, speaking out. You can't be afraid. And it is every doctor's responsibility when you hear that this is a controversy and this has been going on for years and we still have doctors who haven't looked into it. We still have doctors who are just listening to the CDC and injecting children with poisonous vaccines and something is wrong with them. This has been an issue for a very long time. And considering now we have the anti-vaxxers and the pro-vaxxers well, that becomes, uh, that should beg questions in everybody's mind. Why is this so controversial if the science, like this psychopathic, disgusting creature said, if it's unequivocal, why then is it a controversy? When these kinds of things happen, you know someone's lying. That's what makes things controversial. There's a lie somewhere and it's up to every individual parent to do the research to find the truth. Mainstream media is not telling you the truth and everybody knows that these people are lying. And yet we've got so many people who don't even want to believe that they lie. Dr. Ross said this, the same day, she, th this is a woman that she met who had triplets. And the same day that her triplets were given their six-month checkup and vaccines was the same day that all three of her kids checked out. She said it was as if someone replaced her children with new ones. They unlearned all they knew, regressed and screamed for days. I stood there emotionless and speechless. She didn't want my pity, nor my tears. She just wanted me to know. Um, we all took an oath 
to first and foremost do no harm every doctor who hasn't themselves done the research all those doctors who are relying on their vaccine pharmaceutical rep a woman or a man who is selling a product and we've got doctors relying on what they say unconscionable so yes do no harm it's been difficult throughout my tenure as a physician I have watched while our Academy has pushed certain medication that we find years later has been causing more harm than good that hurts you know when you see these doctors or whatever you know profession when you recognize or or hear from them see them and they begin to learn the truth and they're emotionally affected because they were directly involved in harming children if they are not expressing some kind of emotion that resonates with you if that's your doctor get another one I have witnessed the vaccine schedule grow from 16 doses of four vaccines from birth to six years old when I was a child to the current recommendation of 49 doses of 14 vaccines between birth and age six and age six and 69 doses of 16 vaccines between birth and 18 years of age and we've been giving them on time sometimes five shots a day to help kids catch up and all without question medical school and residency taught us all to do just that I can't help but wonder if there's a connection between the fact that we had given fewer vaccines when we did we had fewer childhood diseases it's only human to wonder yeah everything should be begging questions now because our country has radically changed every aspect of it has radically changed but our children are far more diseased, sick, ill than ever before. Why? Is it because they weren't vaccinated enough like the older generations? My God, there are so many obviouses. But when those obviouses, when they relate to life or death, you would think that people would be very concerned. I had never heard of CDC scientist whistleblower named Dr. William Thompson. Note, I cannot link to a story because even the article written in Forbes has been removed online. Dr. Thompson was brave enough to come forward because his conscience was killing him. I feel like an ignorant ass to say the least. Dr. Thompson revealed that a study conducted by the CDC showed a 236 percent increase in the rate of autism in African American boys who received the MMR vaccine before the age of 36 months. Did you hear that? A 236 percent increase in the rate of autism in African American boys. They are at more risk than any other group of children. He states, Dr. Thompson, that an internal decision was made to change the study results to demonstrate that there was no increased risk. And he feels really bad about that. And he's never been subpoenaed by Congress to testify. And the CDC requires Dr. Thompson to be subpoenaed. Our Congress knows this. The CDC knows this. A whole lot of people know it. And still, we have these government officials going around door to door, um, instituting fines, $2,000 per day if you don't get the MMR. And it's known that children 
are checking out after they get vaccinated. They are suddenly diagnosed or in time diagnosed with the autistic diagnose. New York Times editorial on vaccines, a pseudoscience mess. Another doctor who had the courage to write a response to this editorial. No, the enemy, according to the New York Times, the enemy is anyone who questions the safety and efficacy of any vaccine. And he writes, Dr. Brownstein, I guess that makes me the enemy. I thought I was a board certified physician trying to read and decipher the research on vaccines to help guide my patients on how to make their best health care decision. And now I'm the enemy. I will link below to all the videos, to all the articles. Why doesn't the New York Times write a lead op-ed demanding that the CDC whistleblower testify in front of Congress about his allegations? People who are believing that most people are good and they don't lie and uh, we live in a world where there isn't a conspiracy are at this point not naive at this point they're dangerous because these are the people you know that believe people like what is her name Nora Nora O'Donnell they believe her a disgusting sick psychopath narcissist who will lie for a paycheck and not even care about the consequences of her lies and the consequences are huge and the consequences cause so much suffering for so many people but she doesn't suffer there are a lot of doctors who don't vaccinate their children Dr. Oz is one of them why because they know they're dangerous I'm a mother of three children, two of which are in school, and um, I came to see Vax tonight. Um, it's my second time seeing it, actually. This is a very important subject to me. I hold close to my heart. Um, SB277 really turned my life around because I do have a vaccine-injured child. It's a film about vaccine safety and about that there, as of present time, there is not. Um, um, we, we basically have, you know, what's the saying, the fox starting the chicken coop. Um, that's what's happening at this present time. And when you um, see this and you see, you see how controlled the media is and the whole measles outbreak with Disneyland, how much, you know, coverage that got. And I mean, where's the media coverage for these parents that go in and we get these shots and put our trust in these doctors? And, and it, you know, destroys, destroys people's lives. lives. At, you know, you the very least disrupts it. it. But there's no, no media, media coverage for that. For that. And, and this film shows you why. And, um, and, and, it's, and it's disgusting. And, and, and I mean, I, I, I think, think the, the whole world, world should be vaxxed. Okay. You know, I have a playlist, vaccines. Uh, there is so much information out there, Dr. Sherry Tenpenny, who has really, uh, my God, Australia banned her. We won't even let your big toe into Australia. Why? She was going to Australia on vacation, and this small group asked her to come speak to a very small audience about vaccines. They banned her from entering Australia. That doesn't beg questions in people's minds. Is this woman so unbelievably evil that they've got to ban her from entering the country when all she was going to be doing was giving them informed consent? Her knowledge as a doctor 
her research, she was going to pass on. That's it. Banned. You can't come into our country. Here's another video. Vaccines safety, a crime against humanity. Vax TV. You want to hear how safe these vaccines are? You want to check out all of these parents, all of these doctors, all of the experts on vaccines. Listen to them. He was seizing over and over and over. You want to know how many parents are on here talking about how their children died? How their child died? He immediately lost consciousness. Nobody warned me. <sighs> My daughter has autism from vaccines. The doctor said he would be fine. Three hours later, I lost my hearing. Oh, it's not just children, adults. Adults. Vaccines injured my son. Uh, it, it, so many videos. So many videos. My sister is vaccine injured. Vaccines gave my children autism, food, allergies, and type 1 diabetes and speech disorders. My three boys are injured, injured from vaccines. My children and I are injured from vaccines. Vaccines gave my son eczema. The Tdap vaccine during pregnancy killed my baby. Yeah, real safe, Nora, real safe. I am a doctor. I now know the truth about vaccines. Her children are vaccine injured. Mandates would have killed my son. My two month old son died following vaccinations. My son seized on the table after vaccines. My 20 year old daughter has autism from vaccines. My two children are vaccine injured. The flu shot injured me. My son was. My son has autism from vaccines. Filing a claim in vaccine court. I did get hepatitis B vaccine. The medical profession killed my son. Vaccines destroyed my family. My son has autism. These are all different families, by the way. You get that, right? My son has autism. I will never vaccinate again. Heavy metal toxicity. I now know the truth about vaccines. I'm done vaccinating my children. I had an adverse reaction. My five children are unvaccinated and extremely healthy. I've cried so many tears. He kept banging his head. I saw an immediate change. I could not shake the fa fatigue. We're living a very strange time when we have all the evidence that clearly shows unequivocal this woman is twisted, sick, disturbed human being and has she should never have been put in any position of any kind of power and mainstream media reporters yeah they have power. This woman really should I won't say it. Vaccines killed my baby boy. My brother has autism from vaccines. 
I'm a pharmacist and I will never vaccine, uh, vaccinate again. The flu vaccine killed my daughter. My daughter has diabetes from vaccines. Vaccines cause my daughter autism. I'm a nurse and I didn't know. Vaccines killed my four-year-old son. Vaccines gave my son autism. Vaccines cause ADHD, allergies, anxiety. Vaccines gave my children autism, tics, allergies. No more vaccines ever. I didn't realize we had a choice. Vaccines gave my son autism. Vaccines while pregnant injured my daughter. MMR gave my son autism. Vaccines ruined my daughter's life. I'm done vaccinating my family. Vaccines gave my son autism. Vaccines have my son with autism and epilepsy. No more vaccines for my children. I'm a former pro-vaccine nurse. Vaccines destroyed my family. My daughter is injured for life by the flu vaccine. <sighs> MMR gave my son autism. Five members of my family are vaccine injured. I will link below. You can watch this trailer on Vax2, the People's Truth trailer. Oh, and you'll get to see how many parents suffer because of vaccines. Okay? Rockland County, New York Health Department goes door to door looking for unvaccinated. Media lies about MMR vaccine risk. This is not a free country. Life has changed here. In the good old U.S. of A. It has changed. Everybody needs to be working to reverse these changes. If you do not, mandatory vaccination will be coming very, very quickly to all of us. All links are below.